hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy let's solve this problem and this problem it is said that two forces act on the screw i if f1 is 400 newton and f2 is 600 newton it is said that determine the included angle between f1 and f2 right that is the theta if the resultant of both of these is 800 newtons right so now what we will do is that we will apply the head to tail uh, method for vector addition so then what we will do is that we will add both of these vectors by using the head to tail rule so we can draw let's say that this is that f1 right we can draw the free body diagram so the f1 magnitude is given which is uh, 400 newton right so let's say that this is f1 and f2 let's say that this is f2 right and the angle between the tails of f1 and f2 is theta right so now if i extend this f1 vector so we are given that this angle is theta right but let's say that this angle is alpha right so as we can see that alpha plus theta is equal to 180 degrees since both of these angles are supplementary angles right so from this we can write that alpha equals to 180 minus theta right so i will write that this angle is 180 minus theta and what will be the resultant of both of these so the resultant of both of these will be from the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector right so this is f r whose magnitude is also given in the statement this is 800 newtons right so this one is f2 which is how much which is 600 newtons right so now as we can see that f1 and f2 and the included angle is known and the this opposite side magnitude is also known so we can apply the cosine's law so we can write that fr square equals to f1 square plus f2 square minus 2 into f1 f2 and cos of the included angle between f1 and f2 right so it is 180 minus theta right so now we can substitute all the magnitudes which are given right so fr is 800 so we can write that this is 800 square f1 is 400 f2 is 600 minus 2 into again f1 is 400 into 600 cos of 180 minus theta so from this we can write that we can bring this for uh, this term and this term to the other side of equation so we can write that this is 800 square minus 400 square minus 600 square equals to minus 2 into 400 into 600 cos of 180 minus theta or we can write cos of 180 minus theta we can divide all of these by this product right so we can write that this will be 800 square minus 400 square minus 600 square divided by minus 2 into 400 into 600 right so we can write that cos of 180 minus theta if we calculate this so this is minus 0 0.25 so now since we want to find theta so then what we will do is that we will take cos inverse so 180 minus theta cos inverse minus 0 0.25 so from this we get that 180 minus theta equals to cos inverse minus 0 0.25 is 104.5 five degrees right so theta is equal to 180 minus 104.5 degrees so from this theta equals to 75.5 degrees right so to have the resultant of both of these forces equal to 800 newtons so the angle between the tails of f1 and f2 need to be equal to 75.5 degrees right so this is the solution of this particular problem 